That's how we try to keep those things from cracking. Welcome back. Welcome back to LogFurnitureHowTo.com. My name's Mitchell Dillman. We're drying out some log discs over here, guys. Yeah, so if you were if you were watching yesterday, you'll remember we cut these from a big log out there. We're just running the fan on them right now and letting them dry off. So welcome back, man. Yep, it's wood day, man. Check out all this wood we got in here. We're gonna stain those. We're gonna get these out of the way. We're gonna start in on these two tables. So what do you say, man? Let's grab some tools and make some sawdust. <laughs> so the first thing we gotta do this morning is make room for more. These are going to storage for the city job. We're not gonna be delivering them for a few more months. Yeah, so unfortunately there was a mix-up with the city and they're not going to be ready for all these benches until first of the year, honestly. So I've got 13 out of the 21 benches finished, completed. They're all hanging in here. We'll finish the other ones and get away, put away in here until the city's ready for them. So that's how we're doing it. <laughs> now we can get in here and get these to stain that's what's next we're gonna get them out there set up and stain them so we'll be staining all this stuff all these foot rests arm rests benches I want a 14 inch circle. My can is 11. We're gonna add an inch and a half. We're gonna go all the way around it. 14 inch. There's a lot of ways you could do this, but this is pretty fast and easy, guys. Check it out. Just like it. All right. Sit down right there. We can cut out this tabletop. All right. So now we're going to drill a hole in this thing for an umbrella to go through. It's going to be a little pub table and two matching bar stools that go with it. It's for their little patio. They've got a little bitty patio they want it on. A little umbrella in it. It'll be pretty cool. To do that, this. my whole hog, and this two inch self tapping auger bit. Boom. Fun. We're just going to line it up right there on the X and go to town. Just like that. Man, can you smell this? Man, there's nothing like the smell of that Douglas fir. All right, so we've got a, we got a pretty good start on this project. Let's get it out of the way, clear all that out of the way, and we'll finish off the day working on this door. It's always just a process. 
get the wood done, you get your measurements, you get in there and weld, paint, finish, you know. All right, so what we've got going on here, customer brought us this door that they had had made for them. And we're gonna turn it into a table. So we'll take a minute. So our customers asked that we actually fill it. She wants a good solid table. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is inset these screws that are flush. And then we're gonna be using epoxy. We'll dam up the whole edge and we'll use epoxy and fill all these voids. Which means we're gonna have to actually, if you look underneath here and the way this is made, we're actually gonna have to tape off all these seams. All these seams. <laughs> but we do it. We can do it, man. We'll get it done. It's gonna be a pretty table when it's said and done. And then we'll weld up a cool base for it. All right, we got all these outside edges taped off. We're gonna have to come back tomorrow. And we're just gonna keep on going, man. Same as always. Thanks for watching. Have a great night. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>